camp up in Maine. This is our fourth day. This is our fourth day. Four days of four flies. Let's check out this shirt here. What do you got there? Chicken. That looks like a drunk chicken. A little sappy. <laughs> Pretty good. He's got a sappy chicken. Flies are still horrendous today. The flies are bad. Let's check in with the hip B. See what he says. Hey, oh you gloovy do. This is the hip B. It's too early for me today. I was up late partying with all my friends, the black flies. Oh, what a party it was. I didn't eat what they ate, but I had some honey. And I had a little bit too much. But I gotta do the weather, so here we go. Today the weather's gonna be hot, 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 baby. And these black flies all around, they're fantastic. They're my friends. But uh, you better sit in the shade today, you guys over there. It's gonna be hot. They don't like it. I love it. Well, I'm gonna go sit in the sun. Doodoo. Thank you, hippie, for that fantastic weather report and all your friends are here let me show you around this camp before we go there's the tent there's the table on the top let me show you the river Great place to swim. The water is still kind of cold. I don't know if I'll go in, but it's going to be hot enough. All right, before we head out to the river, we got a giveaway. Of course, we got a giveaway. Let's see what we got. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got flies. We got black flies. I mean, they're brutal right now. Oh, we went to the. Oh, look at that. This comes from the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop in Byron, Maine. And this is like a geode that's been cut, polished, and that's beautiful. There's a hole in the top. See? And you got a candle in there. We're gonna have an, we're gonna send you a regular tea light candle and an electronic one. And it glows when you light it up. It'll, I want that one myself. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Look at it. Look at it. Let me get it in the light here. Wow, that's great. All you gotta do is stay tuned and we'll tell you how to win. There may be a secret word. Now we gotta get away from these bugs. Any idea where this came from? Yeah, it came from the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop in Byron, Maine. Now let's get out to the river. on the river or the stream or the brook or the creek I don't know the name of it 
We just happened to be driving on an old logging road way deep in the woods and we came across this. We were exploring and we found it. Let me show you. Starts out up there and comes down. And goes by here. And goes down under this bridge. And goes right on down there. It's real easy to get to. It's not a steep bank. One step down. The car is parked only 50 yards away or less. So, not bad. I'm going to find a spot to set up the sluice. Well, how's the bugs? <laughs> I'm eating them. Uh, a few black flies. We got the thermocell going back there. But they were bad here. They're not so bad, but they're bad. <laughs> we got the sluice set up right there. I'm gonna classify right there. And right on the other side of my bucket, on this side of that big rock is where I'm gonna be digging. And we'll see what happens. We're gonna start digging in a little bit. I'm just taking a break after getting everything set up. Sluice went right in. I just, I, I wanted to try down here. It just wasn't enough pitch. But up there, there seems to be enough pitch, good flow, and I just threw it in. I didn't have to do nothing. No stand, no nothing. I could have thrown that sluice and set it up perfectly if I didn't even leave my chair. Could have just thrown it in. Gotta love that. All right. got a really nice inside den right here we're working there's a big rock right on the corner so if there's gold in this brook that's where it's gonna be there's some fractured bedrock there but it doesn't move i can't get it out it's right behind the bucket let me show you see oh yeah they don't move. I tried to move them, but they're, they're solid. They're deep. What are you looking at? I'm letting it clear out so I can see what's going on. See, I'm digging right here, but you see these slabs of bedrock here, 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 broken? They run, they're big. They can't move them. They run down, and I'm hitting them. The shovel's too big. You know what we need for that? A pump. Yeah. Which I I have a pump, and it it worked good when it was new. It has a one-way valve in it. It goes right into a bucket. But it, it gets clogged too easy, and it doesn't make the cut to get in the truck. But Chuck Elder's Wubba Pump would be great for this. We need to get one of those. They get right down in there, because this you can't do. It. You gotta, there's only a little bit left I can get. We're taking a break. It's tough digging over there. A lot of uh, nooks and crannies, which could be a good thing. I just gotta pull some more stuff out. That got about a. Not a full bucket, half a bucket yet. When there's uh, tough to find materials around here. And uh, we'll be back. I'm going to go over and get another half a bucket. We're going to run it and see if there's anything in it. And I, uh, I may move to a different spot if there's nothing in it. We'll see. Yeah, I got a half a bucket. We'll run it. Run it! Run it up!
That's the beauty of a day. There's a nice breeze today. It doesn't seem as hot. It's perfect right now. Perfect. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, I'll tell you. It doesn't get any better. Well, we could find some gold, but don't, don't have to. Do you see anything in there yet? It's hard to tell with the glare. Yeah, there's a lot of glare. and We'll see. We'll be back. Tom says he sees something in the mat, so I gotta get up. Let's go see. Wow, that's pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. I can't tell how much, but I see a couple pieces sitting right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right up in there. And they're not stuck, they decent flakes. All right. Gold in the mat. There we go, we're gonna do a clean out. So a little bit of gold in the indicator mat. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more in the sluice itself. Look at that, beautiful up there. I noticed that the dream mat versus the one, um, other mat we have this one the dream mat picks up a lot of small stones where the other one just everything's a little bit finer yeah i agree that the different mats definitely run a little bit different, different. yeah oh yeah see something yeah, some nice oh look at that one Great up top Oh, and that wasn't even in the indicator. I didn't see that. I would have seen that. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought anything it was running hot. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, I'm surprised. I expected just a couple small pieces. What I could see. What do you think? I have a bucket. Wow. Holy cow! Wow, I'm overly thrilled with that. That's ridiculous. Wow. I didn't expect that at all. No, I didn't. And we only saw a few of them in the mat. It was running hot. So yeah. it didn't get stuck in the indicator. It, it, the green mat did its job, though. And that's worth digging again. I need a snuffer. Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, I might as well keep digging. <laughs> Well, that was a pleasant surprise. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's been a long time I'm since we've seen. It. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen good gold like that in the flute. Yeah. Uh, yesterday we only had, you know, very little, but uh, that's good enough to keep on digging. Uh, I'm taking a little break because it's heating up. We had to change the uh, thermocell pad that's in there because that was running out and the bugs were coming back. But I think we got it under control. I know they're cousins of the hip B, but I don't like them. What you got there? I don't know. I went into the Mexico oh. One Stop. Look at that. Oh wow, she did all right. Oh, she already cut it. Oh, it's already cut. Don't waste the knife. Save the knife. Voila. So that's lunch. Look at this. You don't get better view. What do you got? Oh, thank you. We're going to eat this. And now uh, we'll be back. Okay, I'm digging down. I'm half on a, some bedrock, but on the side of it and on top of it, show them the clay. 
This stuff is all muddy clay. Yeah, we're getting to a clay layer, so that's good. It's tough digging. My hole is over there. Look at this thing that I pulled up. That clay sitting right on top of a... And look how black that sand is. Yeah. That's gonna be good, I hope. Yeah. Another break. It's tough digging, but I'm scraping the top of a piece of bedrock that has clay all over the top. So that's like the bottom. It's down about two and a half feet. So I have high hopes. What do you got there? Oh, Ooh, a nice fresca. cold fresca. We got them down there in the water. Nice chilled mountain stream fresca. We're gonna have that. I'm almost to where I gotta be, probably another six shovelfuls. You don't get much out of a shovelful, but the clay is so thick it's sticking to the shovel. So we're gonna break that up and give it a run. We'll be back. We've been sitting here all day. How many hours? A few. Well, at least four or five hours. We're not in any rush. We do a few little bit of digging, a little bit of relaxing sip our frescas in the sunshine and nobody's come by not a single car has come by on this road all day I don't know where it goes I assume it goes nowhere because if it went somewhere people would be going by so I don't know the name of it I don't know the name of the brook either secret brook top secret brook <laughs> <laughs> Before I get back to digging, now we've already found a little bit of gold today, but uh, a gold dance can't hurt. I'm gonna go back to digging. Let me show you where I'm digging. Down in there, let me bend over so you can get a good look at my hole. See? Now there's some big flat rocks down the bottom. You can't see it, but it, I think I'm hitting either a big flat rock or bedrock. And there's clay on top of it. So, I'm gonna keep digging and we'll see what we find. I got maybe six more good shovels and that bucket will be good to go. So we'll see. That's clearing out nicely. I'm relaxing. Tom's sluicing. I'm gonna eventually give the Dream Mat a good test on a recirculating sluice run it and then see what it misses. Hey, Slewson. Hello. We'd like to interrupt this program to pick a winner for last week's giveaway. But before we do that, we want to let you know about a sluice box we're giving away on our uh, website, thehippie.com. Just go there and go to the Hippie Explorer section. Look for the uh, lunch, uh, lunch fund donation. You'll see a picture of a sluice box there that'll tell you how to join. Um, and we're going to be giving that away, I think, in next week, right? Right. That'll be given away next week as well. But tonight is we're giving away the slice of geode that we had in last week's video. We're going to pick 10 finalists. Let's go over to the computer and pick 10 people to be in the race. All right, here we are on the YouTube comment picker. Last week's video from the URL is in there. We're filtering duplicate users. Uh, we've got the filter on uh, for the word spider. Spider was the secret word. There was 105 names in there. 
unique comments who use the secret word. We're going to pick 10 names. Here we go. 10 finalists. Number one is John Doctor is number one. Linda Elder is number two. William Doring is number three. New Hampshire Outdoor Network is number four. Tracy Mercurio is number five. Christina Joy is number six. D. Wolf is number seven. Donna Hanson Murray is number eight. John Doctor, we already had, so we're taking somebody else. Jerry Digg, number nine. And finally, number 10 is, oh, it's working, Oscar Hernandez. Those are the finalists. We're going to meet you out in the parking lot for the zombie race with these 10 finalists. All right, here we are out in the graveyard. It's not a parking lot, it's a graveyard. And uh, we're going to be uh, having the zombie races. Here they go, all the contestants are on the starting line and they're off. And John Doctor on the bottom gets a quick lead with the gray dress and orange wig. Christina Joy in the middle, doing well with D. Wolf. Linda Elder. Taking up the rear, John Doctor, good move on the bottom, has a nice lead. But with the green shoes and orange wig doing well. Here comes Christina Joy making her move with the green spiked hair. Christina Joy and John Doctor battling it out down the home stretch. It's gonna be real close. Who is it? Jerry Dag up top making the move. It's gonna be close. Tracy Mercurio! Wow, that was real close between Tracy Mercurio and Jerry Dagg. Let's look at the final results. Tracy Mercurio, Jerry Dagg, and William Doring. Congratulations! Tracy, you have won. Congratulations, Tracy Mercurio! You are the winner! Um, you have 30 days to claim your prize. Just uh, send me uh, an email to westperonatoal.com or reply to your um, comment and uh, we'll get in touch with you. Um, and remember, next week we're giving away that sluice box. Beautiful state-of-the-art sluice box. And uh, with the best match you can get in it. Check it out. There's a link in the description. You can join that or... Go to thehipbee.com, look for the lunch fund and uh, the sluice box. And where did that come from? Oh, that came from Chuck Elder. He donated it to it for a giveaway. It's a Carl Miller sluice. It's a Carl Miller sluice. So definitely check that out. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we're doing our next cleanup. See at least one piece in the mat. You want me to show Do you? you? I couldn't see anything. Well, it's cleared out now, so all the black sand is gone. Right in there. You see it? Hopefully, there'll be more than one piece in there. Pieces. I guess I scraped the top of that bedrock down to the bottom. Yeah, it's gold, but not a lot. I need a pump. I have to come back with a pump. There's a little speck right there, too. There's four. See? Right here. Right there. The end of my finger, a little tiny one. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Not as good as the first, but I'll take it. Yeah. What do you see? Two more. I washed it back a second time. Oh, yeah. Not a big not one bad. and a little. Big and a little. Not bad. I got out of the water and put my dry shoes on. This is a new pant, uh, Mine Lab Pro, Pro Gold that Chuck Elder gave me when I saw him yesterday, or the day before. And uh, brand new, so it probably needs seasoning. Um, I have, it looks really nice, and maybe it won't get the white spots on it and turn into a spectacle. Spectacle. <laughs> this is what we got. Let's see. And that was some hard digging. Look at that. Oh, that looks pretty nice, though. So. All the way over there. Some small stuff and one big one. That's the flake of the day right there. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Well, there you have it. That's what we got for the day. We've done better. We've done worse. Uh, it looks like a lot to me because it's been a long time since we've had that much good stuff. Yeah. We had we were over the winter. We weren't in the river, so it was uh, nice to see something. But we're enjoying it here by the river. We're going to sit here before we pack up a little bit. We're having a giveaway too today. Giveaway. Oh, that rock with the, the light goes in it. and oh, That's a beauty, a beauty. That's from Coos Canyon Rock and Gift. Coos Canyon Rock and Gift in Byron. And uh, don't forget to stop in there when you're up this way. All right, we're going to finish our delicious fresca. And uh, then we're going to hit the road. How big that is right there big moose tracks that's a big moose big as my hand they're all over these roads out here we're on our way, on our way. we just got back from the river we're looking at a thermometer it got up to a hundred and five degrees in this tent today I don't know if you can see it there, but there it is, 105 degrees. It's 89 in here now, but wow, that's hot. We're getting settled in here, and we're going to cook out here tonight again. We can't have a fire because there's a fire ban. We can use the wood stove. We called the fire department, and they said we can use the wood stove but it's too hot in the tent to use a wood stove so we're just gonna cook out here but we got our mosquito thing and we got the thermocell going and there's still a lot but i'll give you an update in a few minutes is that a dance no <laughs> Some stickers that Brewer Prospecting sent us. Hey, you guys, new one. We have Brewer Prospecting. This one's definitely going on. I like this one. Look at that. And we got A, you guys.
put it right down there. Pow! If you'd like your sticker on this cooler while there's still room, send it to us and we'll stick it. Hey. I got blood on my neck from the bugs. <laughs> the thermocell heated up and the bugs are gone. There's very few, one here. There were hundreds of them around us, but now there's hardly any at all. There's one here somewhere. That must be uh, Chewy, Hippie's cousin. All right, we're gonna get ready for dinner. Here we have Brussels sprouts and green beans. I barely fit Brussels sprouts and green beans. We're going to steam in there and uh, I'm going to give them a head start and we'll be back. Peppers and onions. Look at that. Right in there. We're gonna give those peppers and onions a little time to do their magic. Take a look at these peppers and onions. Look at them. You see them? How nice they look. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, look at that. Those are ready. This is cut up chicken breast with a sada marinade. Going right in there. We're gonna get that going. We'll be back. We're gonna add some garlic powder like that because why not? And we're also gonna add some barbecue sauce. We like this barbecue sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of that and we're also gonna put some honey but we're not going to put that in until almost the very end. We'll mix this up. Look at that, look at that. If that goes a while longer, we'll be back. Okay, now it's time for your favorite pot. Hip the honey. We have these nice big squeeze bottles. You can go like this, pow! And put a tablespoon or two right in there like that. Right at the end, mix it up good. You'll hear, you'll smell the honey when it starts to... Oh yeah, look at that. And uh... Gonna get Tom, he's gonna put it on a plate. That is one little droopy chicken. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that chicken. Huh? Wow. Whoa. Working his magic. Whoa. Look at that. What do we have for the veggies? Hey, we have this over here you can use. There's green beans and there's Brussels sprouts in there, which I'm gonna sprinkle with a little bit of garlic and put some butter on that too. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, maybe another one or two. That's what we're gonna do, like that. Voila. And we're gonna bring it over and we'll tell you how it is. A little bit of butter on the Brussels. A little bit of garlic powder.
Mmm. That Polo Loco chicken is. Let's try it. Pretty good. It's a asada marinade with a little bit of barbecue sauce, also, and some honey. And peppers and onion. Mmm. Mmm. That's different. I like it. Mm. That. That's good. I'd do that again. Mm hmm. Let me try the brussels. Brussels. Fantastic. Really good. Topped off a long day. We're going to eat this. We'll be back. We got a giveaway. Stay tuned. You're going to know the secret word. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button, and also those who shopped at thehipbee.com. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, visit thehipbee.com and make a purchase or hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. Here we are in the corner. And dinner was delicious. It was really awesome. good, and uh, I'll, I'll do that again. We just kind of threw it together. It was good. Lots of nice veggies. More veggies. Um, that giveaway. What's the secret word? Rooster. 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 That's the secret word. Use that in a comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you're a subscriber. Even if you think you're already a subscriber, check and make sure because YouTube kicks people off all the time. Yeah. So make double check and make sure you're a subscriber. And next week, if you leave a comment with the secret word rooster, we're going to pick from the names um, and we're going to have a drawing and give away the that geode with the polished face and the light goes inside here's a picture look at that it's beautiful I wanted to keep it for myself but you know I, I have a lot of rocks as it is so if you can't get enough of us don't forget to hit that join button and become a member members get uh, access to all of the members only videos they come out about every other month and there's several of them up there now so if you become a member for as little as $4.99 you can get access to all those videos plus certain other perks that uh, come along with it and uh, don't forget to check out thehipbee.com and get some honey for yourself and some beehive products or some prospecting equipment or some pay dirt and all that stuff I said it all no you did until next Wednesday Peace. Peace.